Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello. How are we doing? I am sick, probably, for sure. I'm, I went, I'm feeling comfy and cozy right now. Low key, high key. And by low key, high key, I mean, I look like I'm, I look like I'm sick. I also just discovered this song and now I have an obsession with it. Um, what's good, gamers? How you doing? How you feeling? Hopefully better than me. I got a fucking headache and a sore throat. Cozy Sawa! Cozy Sawa! Happy 2024! How was everybody's New Year's? Scale of 1 to 10, how are we feeling? I feel like shit. I feel like absolute garbage. Capybara, you had surgery. I hope you're recovering well. I'm seeing lots of twos, and I don't like that. But honestly, same. We have not had a 2024 stream so far. Hello, hello, welcome in. Ready to get shit-faced again? Should I go get the wine? Guys, this seems like it's been a pretty mid- mid-day. Longhorns lost and my surgeries- I'm so, so sorry. Hi, Dan. What's up, Dan Corona? Sick work sucked. Real, though. Honestly? Honestly? Work sucked so much. My New Year's, I didn't get to spend it with my friends. I had to work. I had to work New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I worked 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. on New Year's Eve. Then promptly got back to the bar at 10.30 in the morning. It's fucked up and evil. You know what's even more evil? They fired me. The day, the next day. I did a clopin on New Year's Day, on fucking New Year's, and then got fired. And, get this! Get this! I Here's the thing. I kind of wanted to quit anyway. But they called my fucking character into question. They called my... Let me... Let me start from the beginning. Shall we? Um... I worked... That Saturday and Sunday of New Year's. And... Wait, hold on. Okay, I worked Saturday. Saturday, I had a friend come into the bar. They visited me. They said hello. They didn't want to drink, but they still wanted to leave a tip. So, on our system, I charged them one cent. For, you know, nothing. Because they didn't buy anything. I got fired, bro. They left us an $80 tip, and we pulled tips, so it's not like it was just me. It was just for me. They left us bartenders. There were three of us. Um, Davin! I don't know why my alerts are all the way up there. Thank you for the gift sub to Dan Corona. That's cool. Um, I could really use that right now. What the fuck?! Let me f fix- Hopefully that worked. Okay. Um, so- and on New Year's- wait, where was I in this story? Dan's a poggers guy? I agree. Um, I forgot where I was in the story, so I'm simply going to start over. Uh, New Year's- no, the day before New Year's. Just arrived, you said you got fired? Oh, you're so perfectly timed into the story. Um, so... 
Saturday before New Year's, friend came in to visit. Didn't buy a drink, but still wanted to tip, so I charged them one cent. And they left an $80 tip. And then, the next day was New Year's. And we had just, it was like right after last call, or just before last call, or somebody closed out their tab already, and they were like, Yo! You guys are really epic and poggers, and we want to leave you tips, but we already closed our tabs. Can you just, like, charge us for, like, a tiny, can we still tip on the card because we don't have cash? And I was like, oh, I can do, you know, this thing and give you a custom thing. And so I charged them each one cent, and they tipped, all of us. And so it shows up in the bookkeeping as, like, one cent charges with tips. And I got accused of stealing from customers. Even though I had proof that I didn't, and was promptly fired. I had, I had proof that I was innocent, too, and they were like, mm, sorry, nope. Anyway. So, um, if y'all need, like, art or something, or are just feeling cool and epic, and a generous, ya boy could use a little extra funds while she looks for a second job. So I'm in the process of looking for a second job. Again. Everything has just been a nightmare this week. I'm gonna be so real. I feel like I have no energy to be streaming right now. Wanna rob a bank? The more and more I think about it, the more I'm so ready to just, like, commit to being a full-time stripper. Can I say that word on Twitch or are they gonna ban me for it? Script- do I have to say scripper? I'll cry. That's so fucked up. It was really fucked up. That's a really good question, that's what I'm saying. So... I'm so tired. I'm so tired. My throat hurts. I Thank God I had another job to fall back on. Uh, but... Baby girl! Dana! That's really fuck. Hey, sick got one. That's really fucking... That's really cool of you. Thank you for the five gifted. <laughs> I had two jobs, yeah. I had two jobs. Keyword is had. I'm hanging in there. Don't worry. My Prozac is still in full effect and still working. Um, it hasn't gotten that bad. Like, I legit- I cleaned my room today. So we're doing okay. This is why we stand Dan Corona. It's just a great name, to be honest. But yeah, so that's what happened yesterday, which is why I didn't stream, which is why I pushed it. I was gonna stream today anyway, but then I put- I was like, man, I don't- How did Jade react? Jade- Baby girl! Pablo! Thank you for the 10 gifted! It's been a- I'm like this close to a break. I don't think you guys understand. I was texting, uh, do they- No, Jade knows. Jade knows. I told- I told Jade, don't worry. I'm- Jade is aware. I will say, I will say my rent for January is paid. My rent for January is paid. Jade was very apologetic. Jade felt bad. She knew it wasn't my fault. Um, it's a shitty place. It's a shitty job. I'll find something better. It was- <laughs> Donation- Donations do work. And- and if you don't want to just like give me your money, you could uh, uh, commission some artwork and I will draw you a little thing. Um, but don't feel pressured. I promise. I, I only, well, no, I have a lot of bills this month, actually. That's a lie. I have a lot of medical bills I need to take care of. And it's Papa Sweetie's birthday month. And today is, today is the Pickleball Queen's birthday. And tomorrow is Rose. So, why does January have so many birthdays? Anyway, besides that, I might, I might, I might do just don't pay the medical bills. Well, I haven't yet, so.
It hasn't happened yet. I, I like, haven't. I haven't gotten my bill for my MRI yet. Haven't gotten that yet. Um, I did. I have been, like, on the Let verge. Go. Oh my fucking god. Baby Gil! I got caught! What the fuck? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Medical bills should be optional. That they should. Holy fuck. Azura. Thank you for 10 more gifted. We hit our daily sub goal. In 15 minutes. And absent. Thank you for the $100. This is, this is, the goal is I'm gonna pay my dad's car payment for his birthday this month. Maybe Sarah should go full-time, too? There's no fucking way I make enough doing this to go full-time. I'm- I'm so- I'm so on the side of positivity, but there's no fucking way. I- That's not gonna happen for, like, another two years, maybe. We got ways to go. Hello, Joshua. Um, happy new year to you, too. I'm so glad that Jesus loves us. Personally, I am more a fan of his brother, Ricardo. Furry, I've considered furry, drawing furry porn. Which, I, LGBT, K-pop, Jewish, bi, hello, Turbo Voldemort. It's been, it's, it's like a triple oh, L. Pablo! What the fuck? I'm just so awesome. Thank you so much for the another 10 gifted. Oh my god. That's that guys, we got a level 6 hype train. That's like the highest hype train I've ever had. That's so fucking We can't do this to the streamer. She's gonna have a breakdown on camera. We what do we care about you? I what do we care about you guys? But I cannot have a public breakdown. Not yet. I'm not famous enough. Maybe you should just get fired more often. I really don't want to. I got fired. I've been fired twice in my entire life. I've been fired twice in my entire life. And it is the absolute worst feeling after getting cheated on. Baby Gil! Oh my god, Pablo! Are you trying to make me cry? Do you want a commission? I feel like I owe you a commission now. Would you like... <laughs> Jesus got a sub. Hey, Zeus got a sub. Would you like me to draw you something? I'm not gonna say the gifties are epic, but we could always cut Twitch out of the pit. That's true, too. The gifties are- the gifties are really poggers and epic, though. Pablo Escobar, man of the people, over here- My brain stopped working. My, my, br Doka, what did you just send me? I've never been fired, but I've never had a job. How have you never had a job? The clip of me getting caught? Getting caught with what? Okay. Oh, on the chair. Yeah, I'm a silly guy. I'm just a silly guy. I'm gonna fucking cry! It's been such an eventful 
like, past 48 hours, and I don't think my brain has caught up to it yet, and so now I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck is happening? Let, let, let her, also I've been listening to nothing but like Afro beats all day, and it's made me want to just... Did you see you got a donation on Kofi? I haven't. Oh, I need to upgrade. can cry. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm just gonna pass out. <laughs> Typically the response to those isn't to storm off, but you do you, boo. I don't know how, to, I don't know how to respond to it. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like, like I'm so, I, trust me, I'm so fucking grateful. You have no idea. You have no idea. This is, an all time not only is it an all time high for me in subs but it's like it's this this might be the most i've gotten in one sitting which is fucking crazy because i've been streaming for 20 minutes and we're not doing anything i don't know how to respond to generosity hello kalo i don't know how to respond i commissions for everyone if you're in the discord put a request in I need a hook up Kofi alerts. I need a hook up Kofi alerts. I do see the, the, this happened to Froggy too, like four days ago. You're doing something, you're wearing an oversized hoodie. I'm being, what the fuck is this? Squawk. Squawk, thank you for the fucking hundred dollars through Kofi. Holy shit. Ooh, Kayla, what are you getting ready for? What should we do? I don't have anything to do. I was just gonna talk about how I just I just wanted to say hello again. I've been I have worked all day and I have been trying to set this fucking DSLR up and I, and I can't get it to work. And I was trying to troubleshoot it with sick nasty, and I haven't gotten any sleep, and it just also, why did you get fired? I was being too hot. I got told I was the personality hire at that job, Baby which kill. is crazy. What the fuck? Bandana head. Thank you for another $30. Can I tell you something? Wait, ben, a cute girl asked me to come hang out. Ooh, okay. Um, I have two things. I have two really quickly, th I have two really quick things. On New Year's Eve, while I was working, a man at the bar, at the very end of the night, came up to me, gave me a $20 bill, and said, this is gonna be your year, I can feel it. All I did was give him a corona. So that, like, made my year, obviously. Second, oh, second, last night, can't, last night, during Squid Stream, this is about Bandana Head, during Squid Stream, the funniest fucking thing was when Bandana Head, Mr. Bandana Head, you either donated or, like, resubbed or something, and through the TTS, it, it said your message of, like, love and support for, you know, your favorite streamer, and then at the end, you were like, but also Sarah Appreciation Chat, and I fucking died laughing. I almost pissed my pants laughing. I want you to know that it made my entire week. Um, also, if you're, if you're just tuning in, I was fired because I was accused of stealing even though I could prove that I was innocent.
appreciate Sarah, not in this life. I'm aware that many people do that. Don't worry. <laughs> From which job? The bar. So now I'm just a receptionist. Now I'm just a sweet little receptionist with my cute little press-on nails that are losing gems. I'm the real MVP. Guys, stop. I've been accused of that too for like $10. Mine was, mine was like, I wasn't even accused of stealing money from the bar. It was just like, we got tipped. And they apparently didn't like it. We don't have to burn any place down. Also, thank you for the fucking level 9 hype train. That's insane. That's the highest hype train I've ever had. Um, I don't, I can't sue for wrongful termination because... I live in a state that is an at-will state, so they can just fucking fire me for whatever reason anyway. POV, POV, hi Chris, it's fine, it's a blessing in disguise. Um, POV, you're my boss when I get tipped. You're stealing! You're fired! Meh! I hope you the best! Fuck you! Fuck you! I was working at a golf course in the office. I was like, bitch, drop 1500s at a time sometimes. Literally, why not? Yeah. Me get fired next? Invis- in Invisus? Invisus? How do you say your name? Invis- Invi. I'm gonna call you Invi. Um, I can get you fired. You would have to dox yourself. Don't do that. But I can't. Blue! Thank you for the gifted to to raptor head. I'm an envious person for sure. I promise. Oh my god, no, you're so you guys are so sweet. You I if you can't if you financially do not have the cap capability, don't feel pressured to do anything for me, okay? The fact that they didn't the, like you being here is enough, I promise. The fact that they didn't take it to Johnny Law and at the same time didn't give you a chance to prove Oh yeah, no no. They they didn't even tell me. They didn't even, they didn't, like, even come to me and ask me about it. They were just like, oh, that looks suspicious, you're fired. I'm still working, yeah, it fucking sucks. Did I get told I was the, I got told I was the personality hire before I got fired. Before I got fired. What happened? Oh, hi, Alex. Hi, honey. I'm sorry I haven't responded to you. I have been, like, uh, majorly depressed. Um, I got fired from the bar, but it's okay because fuck that bar, except for my hot coworker who, if you're watching, I love you, please, let's get married. Um, that place had no personality. I didn't like the owner. And it sucked. Everything good, homie? Like, not at all, but like, yeah. Now that you don't work there, <laughs> she was my New Year's kiss. Courtney, if you're watching, come over. <laughs> There's a space for, yeah, new space for new experiences. Exactly. 2024 started off. That, yeah, the this VOD is going up. Don't worry. I worked on New Year's. Guys, I worked on, I did, I know. First names are okay. Um, I worked on New Year's. I worked New Year's Eve and New Year's Day so that my manager could take his girlfriend out for their six month anniversary. And then the very next day he fired me. Oh! Sniffly! Yeah. Sniffly. Thank you for eight months. Our Twitch baby's almost here. Also, chat gets to send a text to my dad. What do you want to say? What, what would you like to, to say to my father? Decide on that. Open up. Hello, sick nasty. Did you take a nap? How are you? Are you? Did you get any sleep? Does my dad know that we get to text him? No. Would you still love me if I got fired? Um, she would. Thank you very much. Veg but not sleep. That's okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Text him about pro wrestling. Oh, my dad, my dad knows, yes, my, I was, my dad was the first one I told. 
Tell him sorry? Should I just say my chat says sorry? My- yeah, no, my dad was the first one I told because I was like, yo, is there- Tell him you got in another car accident? I would, except I don't have a car. Chat says sorry, don't elaborate. I actually fucking love that. Depends on the image. Depends on the image. Send it in the Discord. Ask him for money. That's fucking good. I really like- I really like chat says sorry. He'd be so confused. Tell him you- you're such a unit, you hit a car and it's totaled now. Ask when his birthday is. You guys have to agree on one thing. Is Kirby a species? No, raw sewage. I believe Kirby is the special chosen one. Sorry with the image you want- okay. What if he hops on stream? Then I'll send it to my mom instead. Just text him happy birthday! <laughs> what is this picture? Chat says sorry and it's just a little Quokka getting bombed. I think- I think we've collectively decided chat says sorry is it. Yeah, I- run a poll, run a poll with, um, chat says sorry, um, happy birthday, or can I have money for your birthday? Actually, just do, can I have, uh, just do happy birthday or chat says sorry in the poll. I forgot what I was talking about before this. Oh my god, it's Mowgli! I think I said your name right? Mowgli Bogli GB. Welcome to the stream! Welcome to the Bone Zone! How are you doing today? How was your New Year's? Um, I am losing my mind slowly and surely. I'm so glad. I always ask, just in case. I get- I take a lot of pride in- in getting people's names right the first time. At my job, do you like the- it- I adore the image. It's currently me. Like, if I had to pick one image to describe my mental state right now, that would be it. Let's fucking go. I need to switch songs. Oh, you guys know what we should listen to right now? More time for streams! That's true. Put a one in chat if you've listened to For the Company. Put a, put a one in chat if you've seen the music video. Did y'all check my cameo? Did y'all see my cameo? Should we watch it together? No, I don't really want to set that up yet. Didn't we pass the goal for- Oh yeah! I bought my pole instructor course. I bought my pole instructor course. I, bu I bought it. I'm so excited. I am going to start learning how to be an instructor. Now that you're fired, you have time. I have time to take classes. I'm going to get I'm going to get certified to teach. I'm going to be a sick fucking pole instructor. Look at this. 2024. Yo, that rando guy at the bar was fucking right. 2024 is my year. I'm claiming it right now. I'm claiming it right now. Always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. You guys know that song? My dad was obsessed with Monty Python when I was a kid. I served Nostradamus a Corona. <laughs> I 
I need, I need, I need a light show. I haven't seen Life of Brian in a bit. I haven't either. I don't think I've ever seen Life of Brian, but I know that song like the back of my hand. And I love it. I can't whistle. If I could whistle, this song is called For the Company by Starboy Celeste. My dad always quotes it. Let me, let me copy link this. Go listen to that song. Stream it. Stream it. Stream it with all your might. It's so good. I want, I want Celeste and I to collaborate. Guys, I want, in 2024, I think one of my goals, A, is going to be to release merch. B, I want to be on music projects. I want to release music. I've decided that I don't care if it makes me a narcissist. I'm going to admit that I think I'm a good singer. And like low key, high key, I feel like I could be like a really good pop star. And I want to implement that energy in 2024. I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. Cause like just fucking figure it out, you know? But like I think 2024, I want to be on a musical project. I've already got choreographer down, which also. Cutie Cinderella, can we talk about a dance recital, please? Are memes an instrument? If you're a SoundCloud rapper. Um, I think after Papa Sweetie Next Dono should be voice lessons. Dial that shit in. While voice lessons would be cool, I think I would rather learn to play the instrument first. I actually... Honestly, after Papa Sweetie's birthday present, it's probably gonna be either student loan payments or, um, medical bills. I think if I post, if you post music dance content, TXT themselves will ask you to join. Can I have my Coil Array moment with TXT where I am on stage with them and just fucking shaking ass? Have you guys seen that video? There's a video... I think it's from Lollapalooza, where Coil Ray joins TXT on stage, and is twerking in her bras and thongs, and shaking absolute ass, as she should, and the boys are all just like, yo, that's what this is about, and I want to do that. I feel weird. Let me know if I'm crazy. I feel weird about being hot on the internet on the live stream specifically. But everywhere else, you're crazy, thank you. Everywhere else, like twerking in their bras and thongs is so pitbull coded of you. That's exactly why I said it because I am, I am Mr. 305. Um, chat says sorry is what won, so I am going to text my father chat says sorry and that's it i sent it um mr worldwide himself Time is not a waste of life and life is not a waste of time so let's stop wasting time and have the time of our lives Get, oh, get wasted and have the time of our lives. I love Pitbull so fucking much. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand how much I actually adore that man. If he ever did anything wrong, I would just end myself. B -b 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 bars Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about, okay, I was talking about when I'm on stream, specifically when I'm on stream in, like, in my room looking at this camera. He bald, though? I don't care. Hi, Gurf. I'm sorry. To... Thank you. Um, yeah. No, I'm chillin'. I'm chillin'. He could be bald all he wants. I would still screw the shit out of him. 
doesn't Jade hate him? No, Jade cosplayed him. Listen, if you don't think that I would smash the shit out of Pipple, you're so wrong. And if you don't, if you wouldn't smash the shit out of Pipple, you're lying. I have a shaved head and resent that. Listen, what's the job lore? Oh, I got accused of uh, stealing, even though I could prove that I was innocent and they fired me from the bar that I worked at. I don't think you could handle his riz. I don't think I could either. I don't think I could either. That's the thing. Smash a pit bull? No, we're not smashing a pit bull. We are... Let me put this in as plain terms of as I possibly can. I hope my parents aren't watching this. I would absolutely fuck the shit out of Pitbull. Mr. 305. I don't know what his fucking legal name is. Mr. Worldwide. That's who I'm talking about. Just so we're very- Armando Perez, that's even better. He just said, uh huh? I can't, I can't give him context. I would, I would in fact lick his bald head. I don't need to know his real name. That's the thing. I now, I know it now. And it's sexy. But I didn't need to know it beforehand. What was I? I was talking about sexy internet. Okay, okay. Okay. No, okay. You need, I need, I need, let's focus up. Let's focus up, everybody. Focus up. Everybody, Sheket Babaka Shah, hey. Sheket Babaka, hey, Shah. Okay, cool, great. Now that we're all back on the same track, it feels weird, like when I did the pole dancing stream, it feels really weird to be sexy or sexual on the internet live. Like talking to chat, Felt so weird doing it live, but I have no problem doing it on my own and posting those videos later. I did get fired. It's because I'm being, well, I don't know if it's, maybe? But I don't, I, yeah, Tris, I was slaying too hard again. The money, the money helps, that's for sure. The money helps. But, Tris, basically the lore is they accused me of stealing and I could prove that I was innocent and they didn't ask me about it and I just got fired instead. <sighs> also, my throat hurts. So mucus ASMR is back. It's been a hell of a week. It's been a hell of a fucking week. Check out Bavaka Shah, unlock the core Hebrew school memory. What was your guys' like school like things? Yeah, I see all these video hi lap dance. I should have waited. It has been a week, Gurf, hasn't it? Is that why the VOD for the poll? No, the VOD, the, the reason the VOD for that stream is not up is actually because I couldn't get my OBS to work correctly, so I would have gotten DMCA'd if I didn't. I feel like I should, I should like, write it in chat. Mods, can we make a command about the fired thing? Ah! Uh! There is something going- my coworker got me sick when she kissed me. And you know what? I don't regret a second of it. Because that was the first time I've been kissed in weeks. I fight fucking demons right now. It'd be pretty funny if you uploaded it but like put very obnoxious music over it. What if, if I just edit the whole thing so that it's like chill lo-fi beats to s I, I quit my edit- I- I know. <laughs> Gurf, I'll talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about this after stream. Um, howdy, stream stream. I've been fired. I've been fired twice before. I've been fired twice before. The first time. The first time I got fired, I was. 
Ooh, tr oh, trash, trash Slavic electronic music is so fucking good, though. You say trash. I say intense beats that I can just sit there and, like, vibrate to. And not in a weird way. Don't make it weird. Um, I enjoy a lot of different music. Um, anyway, you can't get fired if you don't have a job. Yeah, one man's trash is another man's Slavic electronic music, guys. Um, the first time I ever got fired was for insubordination. However, it was strictly because the owner didn't like me. Because I, I fought for myself. They found out I was showing up to work three hours late every day for six months, not wearing a uniform, taking two hour lunch breaks. Okay, well, yeah, you kind of deserve to be fired for that. Mine was just refusing to like, so it was a candy store. I got fired from my last job for taking naps on the clock. Honestly, Stump, real. First time I got fired was because I came out at work. You should have. You should have ended, you should have unalived your boss. Um, anyway, so the job that I had, the first job I got fired for was a candy store. And the owner, at, slash, I was the manager, by the way. The owner wanted us to stand at the counter and just stare out and wait for customers like, can you imagine, can you imagine, imagine I'm in, in my black shirt and jeans as a uniform and you walk in the store and I'm just standing behind the counter like this. Like, would that not freak you out? Would that not scare you? Whereas I was, I was standing there just, we had like a TV in the back. And I was standing at the register, still in the front, still very visible to customers, just like watching the TV because I wasn't allowed to have my phone. Yeah, that's a good command squawk. Thank you. I'm getting kicked out of my job on the 20, so I'm going to start trying. Yeah, absolutely you should. It's like, it's like when you can't wear or you can't have, um, when you can't have colored hair at a job and you wear shitty wigs. Have you seen that guy on TikTok? That person on TikTok? Seeing you IRL would scare me. How the fuck did you get out of my computer? Have you guys ever... I got fired from that job in the afternoon around 11. Made a phone call. Got an interview 30 minutes later. Got a new job for... What? Yo, that's real though. I've never been fired, but I was getting pretty close two jobs ago. My coworker that was supposed to relieve my shift was always like an hour late. So when my shift was that... Honestly, you're real for that. You're on- Raptor, that's so fucking real, and I support that behavior. Dude, jobs fucking suck. Can we talk about that? I hate working. Jobs fucking just suck. This person, the owner of this job that I had, the first job I got fired from, did not know my name after a year and a half of me working there. Did not know my fucking name. One time my boss found out I tried to, and tried to call me, I just turned my phone off. Honestly, that's so fucking real. Lucky them. Don't go rack. I will fucking end you. I don't work for money. I do, unfortunately. High school tutor a few years ago, I had to go and to basically teach teen- Yeah, that fucking- I know where you live, motherfucker. I will come for you. Teaching teenagers would actually kill me. That's not what I meant! I'm on Prozac, bro. I can't come at all. Hold on. Okay. Here we go again. Here we go again. Let's not start this again. 
2024? How long did we say it would take me to start talking about dicks again? Where's the- where's the bingo card? Hold on. Sarah talks about dicks again was the fucking free space. I'm gonna cry! That's so fucking funny. Sarah has a thing before they speak problem. It's really true. Days since Sarah has made a nut joke. Can I get a board? Wait. Can somebody get me a whiteboard so that I can put it up there? And we can have a board that says days since Sarah has talked about dicks. Somebody suggest that on throne, please, for the love of God. Sarah, Dave since <laughs> Sarah has a thinking problem in which she doesn't think. Ever. I know I should just go to Tar Target's so far away, though. I don't want to walk all the way over there. I don't want to walk all the way over there right now. It's so far away. Also, I'm live. Why would I go to Target right now when I can just tell somebody on the internet? Therefore, you aren't ever? Ever what? Not right now? Do it with all your free time? I... I deserved that one. Thank you, Mo. Um... I feel like you guys are missing at- missing the point that I still have another job. Yo, MedCheck! Med check, everybody. Everybody take your meds. Mine today happened to be water. <laughs> Just a little guy with little legs. I can't walk that far. I need to drink so much water before the end of the day. I have a full-time job. You, do, you don't see me not making it to the store when I need... Have you considered the fact that so far away. Have you considered the fact that maybe my little feetsies hurt? Am I tripping or did you just spray water behind you? There may have been like a little thing off the back of the water bottle. I'm just a little guy and you're a big strong man. And listen, sometimes we're in two separate lanes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I just want to be my little guy self and, and, and fucking get in bed and not leave. Oh my god, you guys! It is so hard to leave my bed because it is, so, I am so fucking cozy in the morning. I don't think you guys understand. I don't think you guys, let me, let me, sh hi Joe. Let me show you really quickly this is what my bed look have you tried filling your bed with spiders no i have not um i was almost late to work look at how cozy my bed looks those are my pictures that's my little picture wall you see that thing up in the corner it's not a spider um it's not a spider it's a light thing that i taped to my ceiling but it's it's got five blankets have you tried hooking your alarm up to the slingshot? No, actually, I have not. Dude, five blankets. The one on top is a fucking heated blanket. Hi, Lantern Juice. Bye, Pride. Welcome to the Bone Zone. Um, I got fucking Im a bajillion stuffed animals and several pillows. Dude, you can get six wolf spiders for $50. That's a steal. That's actually a steal. Keep on the lookout on my throne later. I may or may not have put a new thing on there. Um, the heated one on the is on the top because you can't layer it. I don't want it to overheat. I don't want it to like overheat. The the if I put the heated one on top, then my sheets stay nice and cool. And so there's like a nice like warm pocket dude what is your name on throne it's just sarah sweetie it's a heated blanket no i know 
I'll get you seven for free. Have you guys been seeing the drama on Sephora? Like, Sephora Reddit or Ulta Reddit or whatever, makeup Reddit? Apparently, there is a certain, like, lotion that uses spider pheromones in it. And women have been, like, like using it. And they're like, yo, I've seen, like, seven wolf spiders because I used this. It's fucking crazy. And I really want to try it. I really- I know Reddit's gross. I'm aware that Reddit is gross. Sephora confirmed the products do not have the chemical. You- Oh, it's not real? What the fuck? I got so excited I wanted to attract spiders. What the fuck? I just want like a million pet spiders. Is that such a hard ask? I want some wolf spiders, man. Can somebody- Yo. Yo! What if I got a pet spider? What if I got a pet tarantula, actually? That would be fucking sick. I got fired? I- Exclamation mark. Fired in chat. Um, I think it's a horrible idea. I disagree. I think you are hating on my fun. Um, I think you are preying on my downfall. I think these bitches don't like me, and that's okay. I'm just fucking immaculate, and that is something that y'all will have to deal with. Um, y'all wanna see what I- I think it's a slay, personally. I think it would be so fucking cool. I am preying on your downfall. What the fuck? Or no. Um, anyway, I got a free YSL cologne perfume. Sarah was told by an old mystical wizard that- I don't know if he was an old mystical wizard. Like, Jesus, Sarah was an immaculate- I know it's supposed to be Jesus, but I think for the rest of my life, I'm gonna read Jesus as Jesus just to fuck with people. I think that's a great bit, actually. I think this is the year I get funny, finally. Wizards are stealthy. My New Year's resolution is to be nice to streamers. The issue is that I do not- <sighs> This guy. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. He was. I literally sensed his wisdom of or his- If you live in one of those non-at-will employment states, I live in an at-will employment state. By funny, do you mean you'll continue to read the funny things that Chad says? No, I mean I'll actually, uh, fucking get some jokes of my own and maybe start thinking before I speak. We can hope. I can't be nicer to streamer than I already am. I'm a widow- I'm a widow so nice. My New Year's resolution is to be a total bitch to my chat. Fuck you guys. Let's hear your best joke. Your mom. We all know that's never gonna happen. Yo, what the fuck? That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. My mom's sitting right next to me. Good, I hope she did. Hi, Shrimp Shrimp's mom. I made a- I had to make a- I had to prove a point. Sorry that it was at your expense. Not really, though. I don't know you. Dude, life is fucked up. The game is the game. I Don't hate the player. Hate the evil capitalist that made the game. I'm just out here trying to survive and, like, have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? Changing my name. Fun fact, I'm not a- I'm not a MILF person. I'm not- I'm not into those, really. Because I fucking hate kids. I know, Doka, that was gonna come as such a surprise to you. But, like, I- It's- I know it's not about the kids. I know it's not about the kids. Then just say you're into cougars. I like cougars. But I don't like children, and therefore will not get with MILFs. 
I also like women. Why did you get fired, silly? How about you? There we go. Um. Commission me. Wait. I love that my thing is backwards, so every time I'm like, oh yeah, the thing is right there on my screen, but it's actually over here. That sounds illegal. Technically, it's not. I can't sue. I already called my dad about it. I'm just gonna, like... I should have stolen. You hear me? I should have stolen from you. Just frame your boss for murder. Honestly? I have a college education about that. I'm so fucking tired. Holy shit. Um, I could. He looks like a guy that would kill somebody in a video game, obviously. He, he looks like a guy that would just ruin his relationship. That man is so single. It's, it's disgusting. It is an abomination. Him not being in a relationship is a good thing, trust me. Girl, girl, there's so much tea. There was so much tea. But I can't tell you any of it because it doxes me. Didn't you say he had his anniversary? No, okay, so I have two managers there. I had two managers. One was the GM who was like, he oversaw all the different locations. He was the one that fired me. Um... Lantern juice, you just wasted 300 channel points. The second GM, or the second manager was the manager of, like, just our location. Um, so, he was the one that I was covering for on New Year's Day. Oh, I have a bottle of champagne in my fridge from them. I was given that, but still. The amount of, like, this is all GTA roleplay. Let's be clear, we're talking about GTA 5 no pixel. Um, but, I got a lot of, you're such a bad thief, you count gifts. It wasn't a gift. I wasn't supposed to get it. I did have a job where I probably committed grand larceny, though. I- can I- obviously in GTA. Duh. Um, one time I worked at a place, but it, it was- it was like a- it was a candy store, and I ate and took so much candy and espresso over the course of, like, a year and a half. Which may have been a contributing factor as to why I got fired, but I honestly don't care. You're my favorite G- I, Thank you so much. If I was in GT- If I was- If I was in GTA roleplay, I would want to be a uh, fucking- I want to- I want to plan heists. So bad. I used to watch the Achievement Hunter heists. And I would be like, one day that's gonna be me. But Achievement Hunter's dead. And that fucking sucks. Uh, Rooster Teeth, if you see this, let me plan a heist for you, please, once again. Wait, is it Achievement Hunter, or is it Let's Play that's dead? I can't remember. You could try role-playing somebody funny. Maybe you could try role-playing a hot person. Funhouse is better anyway. Weren't they a part of it? I don't know, I kind of lost touch with the Achievement Hunter lore. I just can't get fired right now. Don't. Don't get fired. It fucking sucks. It really does damage to your mental. I'm not joking. I'm, like, joking and sh stuff and, you know, like, chill about it now because I had a fallback. But also, like, it really fucks with your mental and I'm a little bit, you know, I don't know. I stopped watching Achievement Hunter when Ryan came. I, well, I stopped watching before that. 
Have you had any good dates lately? Why don't you look me in the face? Why don't you look me in the face and ask me that again? Do you know who you're talking to? Chronic, chronic, bad date haver, Sarah? The answer is obviously fucking no. Achievement Hunter is no more. Let's Play is rebranded to be for, for, wait, which is another Rooster Teeth group with Jeff and Gavin. Oh, okay. Yeah, what makes you think I've had any dates lately? You guys just want to hear that I'm still bitchless. You know what? That's crazy. I just got a Tinder message. Let's see. Let's see what he said. This is why I don't, this is why I don't talk to men. This is why I don't talk to men. I got a new match. I got a new match. And the first message I get is, we should get tacos and fuck. I haven't kissed my roommate. I kissed my, uh, coworker. Who is no longer my coworker. He had me in the first half. He had me in the first half. I love a good taco. Which, like, fine. Yes, it's a he. It was a he. I match with men occasionally. Dude, taco sound good. You know what I've been fucking craving? I want hot pot so bad. I want hot pot an astronomical amount right now. If it was a she, I'd respond, yeah. Does my ass only use Tinder? No, I also use Hinge. I fucking hate Bumble, though, because I never want to, I never want to, like, respond first. I am the worst, yeah, no. It being by pan is like playing blackjack and losing 75% of the time. That's just me at the casino in general. I'm saving money and I wanted- I am also- I just got fired! I shouldn't be going out! Like, at all! That being said, I bought four crumble cookies yesterday. Cause I was sad. And I really want to go out for hot pot. Like, I'm- I'm- I'm considering- I hate Bumble. I hate Bumble so much. I want to make a Gary's Mod troll account on Tinder. That would be so fucking funny. You should only go out if you consistently get the man. I know. I want to go out by myself. I want to go get Hot Pot by myself. Like, high key, I'm considering just fucking ending stream and, like, going to get Hot Pot. Some men watch. Mash with me on Hinge says, I look controversial and that I would ruin him. Those are the never the messages that they think they are. Those are never the fucking mess. I get so many of those like tell the taco man make it hot pot and it's a deal and then leave him at the re honestly. Omega, you're kind of thinking with your big brain. You're kind of thinking with your big brain there. Um. I could, I could do the cash, I don't have a car though. I don't have a car to write my cash app on. Um, I put my fucking tip link on my, <laughs> what accent? God damn it. I put my fucking tip link on my, uh, on my bag, QR code style. Aussie accent, it's been a hot minute. It might take me a second to get back into. I know men send that to people with dyed hair, but- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! So, 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 um, I get so many messages from men on Hinge, specifically, specifically Hinge, that are like, you look like you could ruin my life, I want you to ruin my life, and then I respond with, they're clearly not, well, first of all, they're not hot enough for this, um, Second, I I typically try and respond with, all right, send me your fucking, send me your, 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 
Send me your your bank account. I don't need anyone's help to ruin. I don't need anyone's help to ruin my life. Exactly. Um. It gets real quiet when I start asking for bank account numbers. How can you say you want me to ruin your life? And then when I try to financially ruin your life, you don't fucking get it. Make it make sense. I don't want to generalize, but I'm fucking generalizing. They're all delusional is what they are. Someone I recently matched with asked me if I was adopted because I looked like their brother. That's fucking weird. Hold on a second. No, no, no. We need to dissect that. I'm gonna sign you up for a Findom account so you can go get hop. Oh my god. Ducka. I yes, please. Um. <laughs> hold on. We need to go back and dissect that. Someone I recently matched with asked me if I was adopted because I looked like their brother. You matched with somebody who immediately told you that they that you looked like a family member of theirs. Hot pot is uh like soup. That's fucking crazy. I have a story about that. Holy shit, I have a story about that. And it's really fucked up. It's so fucking fucked up. God, I hope my parents are not watching this. Um, one time I was on, I think I was on Tinder. I was on Tinder and I was looking for a sugar daddy. As like a joke, sort of. As a joke. And I matched with this guy and his first message to me was, you look like my daughter. And I said, what? And then he asked how old I was. And I told him I was, I think I was 21 at the time. So I told him I was, uh, I told him I was 18. I told him I was 18, but I was 21. And he asked me for pictures of myself. And I was like, okay, this is like, whatever. It's, they're on my profile, but sure. Um, and he specifically, I was like, okay. And then he specifically asked for pictures of myself when I was younger. And I was like, dude, I just told you I'm 18. What the fuck do you mean younger? I reported his ass so fast. FBI be damned. Straight to fucking six feet under. What happened? Oh, uh, exclamation point fired in chat. This is the fucking FBI. Get on the ground. We're swatting your ass. It was the most disgusting thing ever. I have never felt, well, that's not true. I was going to say I've never felt more disgusted, but I have definitely felt more disgusted. I, I was so fucking, you know, I was just like, bro, how the fuck are you going to tell me that I look like your daughter? How are you going to openly be a pedophile? How are you going to fucking openly do this shit? It was insane. It was insane. It's still, I haven't thought about that in so long. Oh my God. I, I, I still have that so, such a like visceral reaction. Dude did not care about any fucking consequences. I said, I had screenshots of it too. I sent it to cops, but they couldn't do anything about it. It was fucking insane. It was, f I had a karate instructor that turned out to be one. I had a ballet instructor that turned out to be one. I had a ballet instructor. That means he's attracted to his daughter. Yeah. Attracted to his fucking daughter. Get that girl out of his house. Get that girl. I swear to God. I hope that I, I hope to God she is okay. Um, 
What was I about to say? Oh, I had a ballet teacher. I had a ballet teacher that got arrested for, uh, child, child, um, um, pictures, we'll say. Pictures. Uh, and I took private lessons, private ballet lessons with this man. I would have stalked that dude online. I have a feeling that his profile was fake because a lot of the pictures looked kind of, kind of iffy. Good morning, Austin. It is certainly going. Certain it's doing something. It's, guys, I'm going to sell feet pictures. I just remember that. What the fuck did you do? I got catfished by a pedophile. <laughs> also, somebody on Instagram DM'd me about, they were like, they were like, yo. <laughs> they were like, um, hey man, I feel so bad about you getting fired. Would you by chance want to sell some feet pictures? And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, why not? So I'm getting $80, $80 for pictures of my feet. I'm gonna do it. Is the catfishing related to the firing? No. Only 80? Dude, 80 is a decent amount for pictures. Unemployed five minutes, already got the dogs out. Do these look like they're out, buddy? Do these look like they're out? They are not out. It's so fuck it. You could have gotten more for sure. Let's, here's the thing. If they're gonna be a repeat customer, I wanna keep them happy. He didn't get, he didn't really get fired. He got rehired. That's disgusting. $80 is great for the toesies. Also, Cruel Moon, first of all, welcome in. Second of all, I have a fucking bone to pick with you. How? Why the fuck do you keep commenting on all of my YouTube shorts and my tweets with just the fucking tired emoji, the yawn emoji? The fuck do you mean by that, bro? I don't understand paying for feed pics. I don't either, but like, technically I'm not a full-time streamer. I still have another job. I want to clarify, I was working two jobs before I, one of them fired me. So I still have another job. <clears throat> Yeah. Anyway, stealing money. Stealing money. They thought I was stealing money. Y'all bitches thought you could get me with the fun employed shit. I'm still employed. It was the bar job. I'm no longer a bartender. Guys, I'm not a bartender. Am I gonna sue them? No, I fucking wish I could. I'm not, I'm, I'm just a silly little receptionist now. It's sad. It's sad until I think about the fact that now I don't have to be yell- Y'all wanna hear what happened to the bar? Y'all wanna hear what happened to the fucking bar? Oh my god. I've been there a couple months. It's it only been a couple months. Let me tell you what happened on New Year's. Let me tell you what happened on New Year's. Sh show me your evidence. I did. I was like, you guys didn't even fucking ask me what happened. I would have proven that I was innocent if you had, you know, asked me, but they didn't. Um, okay. So, New Year's Eve. I'm working. And this guy is busy, right? It's busy. It's New Year's Eve. There's people everywhere. They're singing karaoke. There's people getting drinks. This group of people comes in. That's one guy who is like already kind of drunk, gets a drink from me and closes his tab. This is very important. He closes his tab, walks away. My coworker about 40, maybe 35, 40 minutes later, um, gets him cause he's like, I need another drink. And we're like, okay, cool. So he, she goes over to take his order, puts the like handheld, you know, um, card reader down so that he can again pay and he's like no 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 
I have a tab open. And we're like, dude, we haven't opened a single tab all night. He's like, no, 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 no. I have a tab open. You don't get it. I have a tab open. We're like, dude, calm down. We haven't opened a tab. Just pay for your drink. She walks away. I walk over to over there to take care of another guest. And then, and then, um, I watch him, like, fiddle with our handheld card reader. And he's, like, like, messing with the settings. And I'm like, dude, do you need help? Like, what are you doing? Turns out, he, uh, my, my, um, welcome in, uh, Marty Amara. Uh, Martoy, Martoy Mara? Um, uh, so, turns out, my coworker comes back over and she's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Turns out this guy had crossed out what he had originally ordered and fucking tried to charge himself less. M Mara, got it. He, he char tried to charge himself like $20 less than what he was supposed to be paying for. And she was like, dude, what the fuck? And she charged him double. And they tried, to, they tried to tell me I was stealing. But, so, honestly, it was kind of fucking smart. But we caught him doing it, which was the problem. So then, he pays for his drink. He goes away again. He comes back for his third round. This is number three, JD's and Lenelman. He comes up to me. I give him his drink. I give him his, you know, thing to pay. And he goes, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I have a tab open. I, you don't understand. I have a tab open. And I'm like, dude. I look, I was. I was like, dude, we haven't opened a single tab all night. No, you, no, the fuck you don't. No, the fuck you don't. No the fuck you don't give me your card. And then he stopped fighting with me. Once I called him once I called him uh only thing he has is to fucking dementia. <sighs> Jadies and Littleman is my favorite way to gender neutrally say like ladies and gentlemen. Cause it just makes no sense, but it also makes sense, you know? Um, anyway, so this man fucking had a tab open. He did not have a tab open. He thought he had a tab open. He did not. He closed his tab all three times. I got called a gentleman on Bumble. That's fucked. Tell him he's a dingleberry. I called him fuck ass. The third time, the third time he came around and was like, no, I have a tab open. I said, listen, fuck ass. No, you don't. We haven't opened one all night. <laughs> oh, gentle them. Ugh. Yeah. He was being a fuck ass. What else was I supposed to say? He was drunk as fuck. He was so drunk. Not belligerently so that I had to cut him off, but he was drunk as fuck. There were so many women. So, I gave a girl my phone number. Guys, I gave, I flirted with a girl. He kept opening and closing his tab, yeah. I flirted successfully with a girl. Yes, they have contacted me. And she was hot. I gave her my, I was like, I was like, I was like, well, she walked in and it was so busy. And I was just like, I said, oh my God, you look so gorgeous. And I, I gave her like one of the like, thank you, Austin. Thank you so much. Um, I gave her one of the like, you know, like the looks. And she was like, oh my God, thank you. No, you look so good. Um, oh, I winked later. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Uh, I, I like, I walked away. I was like, can I get you guys anything to drink? And I got her, I got her and her friends her drinks and they walked away. Um, uh, before, but before I walked away, I was like, you guys need anything else? Like, you need anything else? You just let me know. And then I winked. And then I winked. And then I walked away. 
And then, and then, yo, I can't, we, I served her a couple more times and we kept, we kept giving each other the eyes, which like if you're a femme, it's basically just like, like, like looking straight at each other and by her third round of green tea shots, I had written my num my phone number down and I I let me let me show you exactly what I did. I I wrote it down. I wrote it down like this and then I I walked over to her and I handed it to her like this. And I said this is for you, Angel. And she took it, giggled, grabbed her shot and then like walked away. But when she walked away, she went and then shoved my phone number on that piece of paper into her bra. I'm telling you, I have Riz. Y'all motherfuckers don't believe me. It makes me really giddy. It makes me really fucking giddy. I'm not even gonna, I'm like blushing and kicking my feet thinking about it. I'd be the type of person to flirt with people, give them a fake phone number. What the fuck? Only if I don't really care about, like, if I don't really like that person. You had seen the evidence? I, I just don't. You don't need evidence. Just trust me. I've never lied. Somebody is drinking a shot from a bra soon. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Can you rate my Riz line? I need a confidence boost. Yes. I was believe I have Riz, just no bitches. I was gonna go take ballet class with some with a girl too, and then there was things that happened and I couldn't do it. I'm gonna do a stream where I rate, where I rate chats Riz. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. Hold on. All of y'all bitches, hold on. I need to write this down. Immediately. Before I fucking forget. I already forgot. Rate. Chats. Riz. Done. I may not be Elmo, but you can tickle me anytime. Okay. Let's just, let's just, like, dissect that a little bit, shall we? Um, no. I literally watched for the person by telling, ma oh, matched for the person by telling them I would run away from them because I can run faster than them and it worked. Sarah Sweetie's dating show! I need to write this down. Joe, do you want to help me plan that? Never invoke Sesame Street to flirt. Sarah Sweetie's Sweetheart Dating Show. Hi, Himbo. This is just me stealing ideas from my chat. Um, howdy, Zarin. If your Riz is pickup lines, just, yeah, exactly. Like that one Twitch dating show, but Sarah, are you talking about, are you talking about Capri Suns? Or are you talking about, do I have a green screen? No, but Jade does and I can borrow it. I'm getting warm. Can you guys tell? Sarah, I love Sarah Sweetie Sweetheart Dating. That sounds so fun. Triple S? Wait, no. Hi, hi, Jack. How are you doing today? Lant, the only Riz I have is telling people I legitimately a dense rock and daft when it comes to advances. I, same. Dope shirt, thank you. It's from my mom. I stole it from my mom. Not triple S, no, Sarah, don't. Oh! No, wait. It's not 
triple S. Stealing is really good. Um, especially from big corporations. The only reason I have is making terrible jokes. Double S is the bad one. Double S is the bad one. Yeah. It's just the tri- it's not- triple S is fine. Triple S, we're still good. Don't worry. Double S is where we draw the line. Let's not talk about Nazis anymore. I've had enough of that. <laughs> what are any of these S's? Sarah, sweeties, sweetheart, dating. S suck, slurp, swallow. Duh. No, Doka, you have to take responsibility for that one. You have to take responsibility for that one. Should have been on the bingo card. What, did I make a Nazi reference? We should add a fourth S by putting slay in it. It is a good bit. Sarah Sweetie Sweetheart Speed Speed Wait. Hold on a second. My brain had an aneurysm. Sarah Sweetie Sweetheart Speed Smooching Simulator. You heard it here first. <laughs> Sarah Sweetie Super Sweethearts or No! No! Not SS for short! No! I'm gonna get canceled. I'm gonna get banned. Why didn't I put on my bingo card Sarah Sweetie uh, Temp Ban? Do you guys think my name would show up in the like streamer automatic bans if I did get banned? Am I big enough for that? Double S? Double S is- the SS is a Nazi thing. Twitch doesn't ban for that kind of thing? We could come up with a- <sighs> Can you guys let me live? <laughs> It'd be so cool if it did. Let's find out. No, let's not find out. Let's not find out. Hey, maybe let's not get Sarah banned. Maybe that's like a goal that she doesn't want to hit, you know? Peepo, peepo, uh, uh. Get Sarah banned? No! These guys do not listen to what I say. Get fired from Twitch. I don't even work for Twitch. That'd be cool if I worked for Twitch. Hey, Twitch, if you're hiring, uh, you don't have to try, you do it yourself. Is it, is it on the bingo card? I have to double check. Nope. It is not on my bingo card. It is, in fact, not on my bingo card. It's on uh, Squid's bingo card. Calling up Mr. Twitch right now. Dan Clancy, please hire me. I, in fact, just got fired. Streaming is contracted. Exactly. Getting fired was not on my bingo card. Fun fact, guys. Uh, I didn't actually want, even though I did not like that job and did want to quit, I did not want to get fired because I wanted to be able to use them as a reference, and now I can't really do that anymore. <laughs> but if I could make money as an artist... Oh, this is weird because I'm home alone. Thank you for the 50 bits. Technically speaking, this kind of streaming shouldn't be able- shouldn't be able to be labeled as an independent contract- I don't know what the fuck it's labeled as. Bingo card and my grandma? Yeah, I had a kidney stone. And I have a tumor in my kidney. Benign, of course. Technically, I am, in fact, grandma. I have the health issues of a 70-year-old man. Non-cancerous. It's really funny because then Squid and I are Bubby and Papa. 
We are grandma and grandpa. She's in menopause and I have kidney stones. Auction off the kidney tumor. My knees just give out. Dude, my knees give out all the time. I Auctioning off. Yo, I have a, a kidney, a fatty kidney tumor and then also what's called a strawberry mark in my liver. Who want to buy my kidney tumor? Bidding starts at 50k. My favorite old married couple. Oh my god. I want her to get married to me so bad so that we can be ex-wives. And she won't do it. How fucked up is that? Ask Mika. Mika! Mika, Mika, if you're in chat, will you marry me? And then we can divorce so that we can be ex-wives. Will you duel Evan? No. Evan will give her to me. Who's selling- we're not selling organs, we're selling kidney tumors. It's different. That's legal. My mom is a certified wedding officiant. Yo! My mom's a notary. If I had 50k laying around, I'd donate without the tumor part. That's really sweet of you. That's really sweet of you, Luke. I actually have no idea if it's legal or not. I feel so guilty for pushing it onto squid. Why? I do it all the time. I do it all the time. It's a fun bit. She would tell me if she was, like, legitimately uncomfortable with it, I promise. <laughs> I need tea. I need tea so bad, my throat hurts. But I can't tell if it's a cold or if it's dry air. I think it's dry air. Time to fuck up my Google search. Time to get added to some lists to see if I can sell my tumor. You gotta duel me for Mika first? I don't think you understand that I would actually take you down. In Minecraft, in Roblox. I pay not to receive the tumor. I need $10,000 in my bank account right now or I will send my kidney tumor to your house. Did the reverse psychology work or is, do I have to resort to like trying to sell my kidney tumor again? Surely, yeah, I feel like you don't believe me. But I'm small and agile. Not as small as Mika, but I'm small and agile. gotta mess people up in smash bros dude i will battle i will challenge you to a mortal Kombat tournament for mika's hand in marriage but here's the thing this is a win this is like a win-win for everyone because all i want to do is get married and then immediately get divorced so that i can have an ex-wife Asta's pretty bad in Minecraft anyway. I would win. It's not legal. You can sell your skin, though. Yo, anybody want to buy some skin? I also need to get married for taxes. Joe, I have the proposition of a lifetime. <laughs> Ask the person on Instagram who asked for feed pics if they'll pay for my tumor. I need to do it with Jade because then we can bring it up and they were roommates. I, yo, Chris, thank you for the hundred, thank you for the hundred bits. Um, I'll give you three dollars for all of your skin. I know that I'm worth more than that. I have very nice skin. I have very nice skin. It does increase the standard tax deductions. Joe, I have the proposition of a lifetime for you. We'll talk. <laughs> 350? No. Look at my fucking skin. No filter. Look at my fucking skin. I'm sorry. I'm gonna brag a little bit about my skin. I don't have blemishes, okay? I want to say that Sarah has a good vibe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bandana Head. We can have my mom notarize it. She would be so thrilled. You have no idea. At least $4? Okay. Okay. But like, 420 maybe, Sarah dating show is gonna end with Sarah getting married. I'm gonna host my own date. I just came up with either my birthday stream 
or my Valentine's Day stream. It does not involve feet. But it is probably one of the best ideas I've ever had. <sighs> no, it's fine. It's so good. No feet. They may or may not be brought up, but no, like, they're not going to be outwardly a part of it. That being said, hit my Insta line if you do want to buy feet pics. Can I advertise that on Twitch? I don't think I can advertise that on Twitch. Can't wait for your new foot LLC, Sarah Sweetie Soul Shots. That's fucking good. I can't advertise it on Twitch, but that's so fucking fun. It's a joke, obviously. Hey, Twitch. Hey, chat, Twitch. It's a joke. It's it's definitely a joke. Like, I'm 100% joking. It is so fucking funny, though. My hair switched to the Team Rocket James cut. Hello, strawberry cow. How are you doing today? How was your New Year's? Happy New Year's. Sarah's skin store could be Sarah Sweetie Skin Soiree. You have to spell my name right though. Guys, I blow dry I blow dried my hair yesterday and like it looks so much better than when I let it air dry. Like it looks I feel like it looks so much healthier. Look at this. Look at this Pantene commercial. Okay. Real. Skin soiree is fucking vile, dude. It's fucking awful. That's so bad. Ooh! I just jump scared myself. <laughs> okay, Jay Schlatt. Tell me I don't look like Jay Schlatt right now. Do your best Jay Schlatt impression. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Bye, Kalo. <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more games? Or games? Unlimited games, but no bacon? Thank you. New York? I can't do New York. It's a little harder for me. It always ends up coming out, like, not very New York. But no games. You should play Wolverine in the MCU. I want bacon! Fit check. Perfect, perfect song to do it to, too. Unlimited games, but no games. Oh, I missed it. 
Y'all don't think I can do it. I can do it. Thank you. I look cute today. I went to work like this. I can't say why I'm offended by that impersonation, but the Jade Mons know why. <sighs> well, it's not fair. The inside jokes aren't funny if you don't share them with the class. Jay Schlatt's voice switched from Midwestern nerd kid to New York dad was wild. I watched that video where he, like, I watched the progression of, like, where he started and where he is now, and I'm like, how the fuck? Where'd that come from? Where is he from? Anyway, I'm in love with Jay Schlatt. Which I think is fucking hilarious. Oh my god! You guys will never guess who just liked me on Hinge! Jesus. Did you see Jay Schlatt's cover of My Way? Yes, I did. Yes, I- Oh! He's cute, but he's 5'5". Five five. That's fine. Is he really that short? Yes. I'm 5'4". How far behind is my stream? At first I thought that he stopped making videos because I watched younger him before. Then I realized he just morphed into an old man. He just... I'm... Listen. Sid... Squid can have all the short kings she wants, okay? I'll leave that territory to her. When it comes to men specifically, I would like them to be taller than me. At least. I'm a height hater. Sue me. Am I not allowed to have a type? He is taller than you by half an inch! Just get them heels. He was 5'5". Five five. I'm allowed to be picky on dating apps. I'm allowed to be picky and selfish on dating apps, okay? I don't care. I don't care. Fuck you guys. If they're gonna judge me, I'm gonna judge them! With heels seven inches, he's six feet. I- he does not look like the type of man that is open to wearing heels. He looked very straight. I'm- I am very picky on dating apps. I am very- especially because, like, most of the time they end up being creeps. So I'm like, I'm- I am super picky on dating apps. I, plus, like, I don't really use them for, like- Dating. I use them as like a, a an ego boost to see how many people I can catfish into thinking that I'm a hot person. You know what I mean? I put them in the same like category on my phone as all the rest of my games. They're next to Toy Blast. It's like a it's a game. I don't use it for real. Absolutely not. Oh, so you're just a bad person. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is that what she, is that what you wanted to hear? Somebody clip it for, like, internet's sake. I never thought about it. That's what I'm saying! It's a little game! It's the little game on my phone, the little Tamagotchi. Sometimes it's fun. And sometimes you get people that tell you that you look like their daughter and ask for, uh, pictures of you when you were underage. Are you diamond ranking hinge comp? <laughs> I'm still working my way up to plat. Uh, I am, I am diamond, I am diamond four in, uh, Tinder, but I'm working my way up to plat in, uh, hinge. I actually feel bad about how addictive swiping becomes, literally. It just makes sure I don't match with insane people. What did I miss? I love using dating apps as games. It's like a little, it's like a fun little... You know? Unless I match with a woman. <coughs> I'm dying. I'm cringe and do have pay- 
You paid for Tinder? That's crazy. Can I ask what your experience on that, on paid Tinder is like? Is it any better than not paid Tinder? Wait, what is smurfing on Tinder? Is it like, would that, I don't know, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Did I just get womp womped? Unlimited swipes and swiping in a new place. Okay, so, but I've never run out of swipes. My friend Jake, who I was talking about in my, I think my last stream, every time we talk, he's like, I, I'm like, why are you on Tinder? And he's like, you know, and I was like, okay, just, you know, he said something and I was like, how the fuck, do he said something and I was like, okay, just keep swiping. And he was like, I ran out of likes. And I said, how the fuck do you run out of likes? He continuously will run out of likes. I have never once in my entire, like, I don't know, five years of using Tinder, ever run out of likes. Ever. It's like in a game when you get on an account which is lower ranked. Oh, I don't think you can do that in Tinder. I guess if you're a man, if you're a straight man, if you're a horny straight man, it's probably a lot easier to run out of likes than if you are a picky bisexual female. The tier normally is 30 a month, but mine is five. I've also never used a super like. I've never ever used a super like before. I'm curious. I just never feel like I have to. I don't know. I never feel like I need to. I have gotten super liked and it's never by people I want to be super liked by. You should super like the women? I should super like the women. I don't understand. No, the super like is, it's just, it shows people that you liked them. All my super like usages were on accident. Exactly. If I've ever asked, if I've ever used a super like, it's only because it was an accident. I've never used one, like, to use one. I've never used one because I want somebody to know that I'm liking them. I only use one for I think a woman who's actually amazing. I should start using them on women. I use the roses on Hinge sometimes. You get like one of those a week. The woman is so beautiful and we talked about how skeletons are so Well so, okay, so you matched. It worked. I, I, I understand the hinge over Tinder debate. I still am the other way around because I never match with people I want to on hinge. But I always get hot bitches on Tinder. Any thoughts of dating or intimacy is terrifying? That's so real. Maybe see a therapist, but honestly, real. Because you're using Hinge wrong? What do you, what do you mean? Doka, will you, de will you redo my Hinge profile? Squid redid my Tinder profile last week. And you know what she made my, wait, you know what she made my bio? <laughs> My bio on Tinder, which is fucking crazy to me. Excuse me, please load. <laughs> You're using Hinge for ego and not relationship? That's true. Um, my bio on Tinder now says, I think blue balls and Santa are real, which is crazy because I'm Jewish. That's it. I hope your bio now mentioned you're a Twitch stream. Absolutely fucking not. Never. I put gamer though. G-A-Y. Imagine looking for love. Couldn't be fucking me. You want to know what's even crazier? Nobody has mentioned the blue balls comment. I've only gotten comments about the Santa thing. Not a single person has been like, yo, I also think blue balls are real. I thought it was funny. Okay, I mentioned gamer and I have a Mac. I feel terrible. Yeah. I don't want people to know that I do this. I don't want people, I don't want anybody to know 
that I do this for, like, what I want to be my living. But also I need everybody to know that I do this so that I can be full time. I'm not gonna start a conversation about balls again. Where's my sign? Zero days since Sarah has talked about balls. Or dicks. I don't know why. I don't know why! Why do I- they're just so weird. I think about it a lot. That's my Roman Empire, to be honest. Actually, no, I, I do mean orbs. I genuinely don't believe blue balls are real, but I also have a friend, had a friend bet blue ball, and he, wait. And he threw up from pain? <laughs> Dick clock. but they're not a real problem i i don't think it exists i just like to make fun of it i love to make fun of blue balls i think it's just so funny i will for every every like instead of saying i got debated i will be like you fucking blue balled me somebody will like play a song and then they'll end it or they'll like skip it before it ends and i'll be like you motherfucker you blue balled me hi mom Thanks. <laughs> hey mom, I'm talking about blue balls. <laughs> my parents have this wonderful habit of always seeming to pop into my stream when I'm talking about the most inappropriate thing to be talking about in front of my parents. I hope that you're proud of yourselves. I hope that you are proud of yourselves for that skill. I'm pretty sure it's real, but in most cases, yeah, well, you know. It's funny. It's fun to make fun of. And that's what I'll say about that. Now that my mother is here, I feel like I have to stop talking about blue balls. I think I will sign off. I love you, Mom. I, I love you. Good night. I'm probably going to sign off soon, too. She didn't say I love you back. Mom. Mom, tell me you love me. Mom, don't be, don't make this parasocial. My mom just texted my family group chat about traditions with grandkids. Me and my brother are, oh, Jesus Christ. Absolutely not. She told me. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I just got parasocial relationship by my mom. What a great way to end stream, guys. Anyway... Sorry I can't seem to talk for more than two hours at a time, but my throat is killing me, and your boy is tired, and they've had a fucking hell of a rough week. So, we're gonna raid out. We're gonna raid out. Thank you so much for a fucking amazing stream. I cannot thank everybody enough for the support that I have received, and it's definitely, it's definitely given me, um, a, a, not only a paycheck, but a, a boost of, of, like, you know, um, a boost of, uh, not confidence, but, like, you know, I don't know, renewed vigor. Oh, hey, Squid. We're actually, like, raiding out right now. That's so awkward. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's, this has been, I, yeah, if they're still open, I might go get myself some hot pot. We'll see. Either that or I'm just gonna fucking go to bed. Um, that's crazy because I'm going live. Oh, how about you go live so that we can raid into you? 
Actually, no. I've rated you. I've rated you a lot. I was gonna rate into. Um, we were gonna rate into Uwumi, who I met at TwitchCon, and who is such a sweet person, and I want to be better friends with them. So uh, we're gonna raid into her. Let me see some raid messages in chat. I get it. You hate me. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for all the fucking subs and the donos. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I love y'all parasocially, and I will see you all in the next stream, which I think will be Saturday night? Um, don't quote me on that. I will update again everything in the Discord. Once again, fucking swagtastic. Uh... See y'all on Saturday. Commission me. I'm available for commissions. If you want cool art, uh, buy my commissions. I'll see you later, gamers.